Hello friends, this video on sound part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the next thing that we are going to talk about is the wavelength of a wave. What is wavelength? Now if you look at a wave, you will see that the wave will have an upper portion and a lower portion. So this peak of the wave is termed as the crest. This is called crest. So this is crest. And the valley of the wave is known as trough. So this is the valley of the wave and this is called trough. So any wave is nothing but alternate crests and troughs. So these crests are caused by compression. So if you remember how the particles of the medium they vibrate. So we saw that there are regions of compressions and rarefactions alternatively. So the compressions region form the crest and the rarefaction region form the trough. So that is how we get this type of a wave. So now what do we mean by wavelength? So wavelength is the distance between two consecutive crests or troughs. So this is the first crest. Which is the next crest? This is the next crest. This is the third crest. Similarly, this was the second trough. Now distance between two crests. So this distance is termed as wavelength. So distance between any two crests or distance between any two troughs that is called wavelength. So basically you can say if the entire distance covered by one wave is termed as wavelength. So if you see each of these are equal intervals. So if you started from zero, so let us say this is time. Okay, so this, this much time, so the time here is equal to the time here. Again, the time here is equal to the time here. So these are like equal intervals of time and that is why it is a periodic motion. Right? So wherever I have given these red dots, they represent equal intervals of time. So if you see, if you try to measure the wavelength, so the distance between two crests is basically the same as the distance between the two troughs. So that is wavelength. Right? Or in simple words, you can also say that this distance, you see it is, this distance is actually, it is starting from here till here. Right? So it is starting from this point till this point. Now we can also say if you increase this to here, if you start the measurement from here, so this side also you will decrease by 1, so you will measure it till here. So you can also say that this entire length is one wavelength. Like this distance is one wavelength. So it is up to you how you want to measure one wavelength. So whenever you talk about a wave, either the distance between the two crests or the distance between the two troughs or just one wave, the distance between the beginning of one wave to the beginning of the next wave. So that is one wavelength. So I hope it is clear what is wavelength. So we normally denote wavelength by lambda, it is denoted by lambda. So let me give you a quick recap because I don't want you to get confused. So let us suppose this is the wave. So one wavelength could be this distance from this point to this point. This is also lambda. This is also lambda and this is also lambda. So they are all the same distance. It is measured in meters because it is nothing but length. So we are actually talking about the length. So it is measured in meters. Now that we have discussed about amplitude and wavelength. Now as I mentioned that amplitude and loudness are very closely related to each other. So greater the amplitude, greater would be the loudness. So they are directly proportional to each other. So loudness, to be more precise, loudness is proportional to the square of amplitude of vibration that produces the sound. So that means loudness is directly proportional to the square of amplitude. So if your amplitude becomes double, then your loudness will become four times, right? If your amplitude becomes three times, then the loudness will increase by nine times. So even though the force so and your amplitude is dependent on the force. So basically, uh, if amplitude is increasing by small amount also, um, but the loudness is going to increase by a large amount. So if 
let us say amplitude increases by four times so earlier the amplitude was say a and now the amplitude has become 4a so what would be the loudness now loudness is proportional to the square of amplitude so therefore loudness will become 16 times so loudness will increase by 16 times so with that you can just um, make an idea about how the loudness increases in the different sounds let so let us take some of the examples of sounds around us so let's take uh, the sound of the horns of vehicles during traffic hour so what is the sound you you will see that a lot of vehicles are honking during traffic so the sound that time is almost around the loudness is around 70 decibels so decibel is the unit in which loudness is expressed so 70 decibels would be the uh, sound during peak traffic hours now what what is the uh, loudness of sound when we normally speak to each other like we are neither speaking too loud nor are we speaking too softly so during a normal conversation the loudness is around 60 decibels so you see during traffic it is little more than our normal conversation now let us suppose if you are whispering so during whisper these this loudness becomes almost half it is around 30 decibels and when we breathe even breathing involves sound which is very soft you don't really get to hear it until and unless you pay full concentration to it so breathing it has a loudness of around 10 decibels so that is how the loudness of different sounds are different and the loudness is proportional to the amplitude thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.